You're going to learn how to convert latitude and longitude coordinates into a full address so that you can work with location details and maps more precisely. Working with this type of conversion from coordinates to address and, and the other way around can be a little bit tricky if you don't know where to look, but the method I'm going to teach you is going to show you that it's actually super straightforward. Bubble handles a lot of this for you, and you can start building this into your app right away. I'm Gabby Roman, co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help CEOs and founders build custom software to start or scale their businesses. Let's dive right in. So I have a map here that I'm going to be using as an example to show you uh, how to display a location based off of coordinates. Uh, and I have two input fields here to enter in a latitude coordinate and a longitude coordinate. Now, before I actually go through a little demonstration, I'm going to show you the function that we're going to be using. Uh, so again, I have these two inputs. These are set to decimal content format since latitude and longitudes can be in the decimal format. I'm going to add a text above this input here to show you by insert dynamic data and go to calculate formula. Bubble gives us the option to convert coordinates to an address. So this function here, I'm going to select that and I can insert my latitude and longitude values. And what this will do is um, Bubble will convert it and then the value of our dynamic expression over here is going to be a full address. So I'm going to insert my input latitudes value and my input longitudes value. All right, so this is gonna be my address. So let's just preview the page just to see what that gives us. And I'm gonna change the coordinates around so you can see uh, it happening in real time. So right now I have the latitude and longitude defaulting to the center of this map. So that's why we see uh, this New York address here. This is pulling from the actual map element itself, not from the coordinates, but we can see that they match so, um, you know, the, the map is giving us the same thing as the coordinates, so that's good. Uh, so now let's say I change our coordinates to, you know, 40 to negative. Okay, so we're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Let's see if I can find some land here. Okay, Mars, Pennsylvania in the USA. All right, so that's, that's what you'll want to work with. Is that function to convert your latitude and longitude coordinates into a precise location. Now, if, what if you wanted to go the other way around? What if you wanted to extract the latitude and longitude with a given address? So let me go back to my editor here. I'm going to clear out that expression and instead I'm going to insert dynamic data and go to the map. So map choose is the name of the map that we're looking at here, it's the name that I've given it. Map chooses center address, right? So that's the address of the very center point. Um, that's actually what I'm displaying in this text up here. Uh, if you go a little bit further than that, though, you'll see that you have latitude and longitude uh, as values that you can pull out. So I'm going to do just a comma between them, latitude, and then we'll do choose center address and then the longitude. Right. So now that you know how to extract these values in both directions, you can save them to your database, to a custom state. Uh, and that way you can, you know, display a map at a location based on uh, coordinates um, or you know, based on an address, you know, extract the, the, the coordinates that come out of that if that's what your goal is with your application. So here, uh, let's see if I move to a different location, you can see the coordinates were changing on me. My address has also changed as well. Okay. So what I've done just with my demo here, let's say um, I'm at 19 Van Dam, whatever this coordinate, uh, precise coordinate location is. Let's say I want to save it. So I'm going to click this button and I will show you the workflows that I used in a moment uh, to do this. But I'm saving now these coordinates. OK, and then this is the address that comes out of these coordinates. Right now, if I want to move to a different position on my map, OK, like Prince Street here. So these are the new coordinates for the updated position. You can see when I was moving my map around my marker state center, and I'll show you in a moment how I did that. But I have my previously saved location still listed here. Now let's say I want to go back to that. Again, this is based off of coordinates, so I'm going to go be going back to the coordinates themselves. So I'll hit go to saved. And we're back at the Van Dam Street location, 19 Van Dam Street. That's where I started. 
right? And if I clear, I'm just basically resetting and going back to my previous position on the map where I was moving it around. So there are a few things that were that was going on here that I'll show you how to do. Of course, you know, this might not be what your goal is with the coordinates, but um, just to show you things that you can do with this. So to save the coordinates, let's do that first. Um, I have added custom states to my page. My page is called demo here. I've added custom state called latitude, which is a number, longitude, which is a number as well. So that when I save this, I can extract the coordinates from the map and uh, separate these values into do two different states. And then from there, do whatever I need. In your case, you may, you may want to save these values to the database. You don't necessarily need to save it to a custom state. So when I click the save button, I'm going to set the state of each of those values. So the state, uh, the latitude state for the demo page is just going to be my inputs value for latitude. Longitude is going to be input longitude. Now these inputs, I should also note that their initial contents have been set to the center addresses latitude and longitude. So they are extracting the latitude and longitude from the map. And from there, I'm saving those values to my custom states. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of going through multiple elements here just to kind of show you how flexible this all is and all of your different options. Um, so now that I have those states there, in this text, I can convert that back to an address using the calculation formula that I showed you. Again, you will find that under dynamic data, calculate formula, and then go to coordinates to address. Okay, let me remove that. So I inserted that formula and here I'm using my saved latitude and longitude states. Again, in your case, it might be from the database. If you have saved, if one user has saved uh, the, the coordinates to the database and then another user comes in you know, on a different page several days later, whatever it might be, it's been saved so that they can retrieve it and calculate the address from there. Uh, now my map uh, element here is doing the same calculation. This is, uh, actually, let me hide this map. Let me show you, I have two maps here going on. So my first map is the one that the user can interact with and move around. Okay, the number of markers uh, is set to none uh, with no initial position, but I do have a separate icon element that I have centered vertically and horizontally on the map. I'm using a group element to help me with that. So there's a group that contains both this map and the icon. So I can center this horizontally and vertically, it's dead center there. Um, that way when, when the user moves it around, the marker always stays in position because it's actually not part of the map, it's just a separate element. You can see like that. Um, but the address that they see, since I'm pulling from the value center address, it's always going to be exactly where that marker is positioned. So it's helpful for the user to see just visually uh, where that address is. So this map, again, none, no markers. I don't want the map to generate a marker, uh, no initial position. But once we go to saved position, I'm going to hide this map, also hiding the marker. And instead, I'm going to show a, an alternate map where I can now display a single marker and that marker is going to be the saved address. And here again, I'm just calculating the address using the saved latitude and longitude coordinates. All right, so let's go to the workflow for that button. So you can see that I'm hiding that first map, map choose, and I'm just showing the other map because the initial content of that location is already going to be there once we have saved uh, the different coordinates. All right, I hope that helped you learn a helpful new technique for your app. With the steps we went over, you should be able to convert addresses and coordinates back and forth to each other. If you learned something new today, go ahead and click the subscribe button right below this video so you can stay updated on every new video released. And if you wanna take this way further, head to coachingnocodeapps.com and sign up for our free extended training series. It's completely free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.